Yo, Zio here, and today I would like to show you all how to install all of the Black Ops 2 launchers because there's quite a few of them and it can be confusing sometimes. Also, I did make a tutorial about it specifically for uh, Plutonium, for the proper version to play High Runs and First Uh But it's not really complete, so I'm just gonna use this video as a sort of a remake of that and also show you all the other launchers so it's like all in the single place. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go. So first of all, for all the launchers, uh, you're gonna need Black Ops 2 files. Uh, so you can, of course, either use files from Steam or not from Steam. Uh, I'm gonna use Steam files. Uh, if you absolutely have to use non-Steam files because reasons, then uh, you'll have to figure out how to get them. Uh, but once you have them, on Steam you go to Properties. Installed files and browse. That should open a directory. And those are your Black Ops 2 files. We go on plutonium.pw and we press download. Instructions are here, but I'll walk you through them anyways. Click on plutonium.exe and that will download the file. Once the file is downloaded, just open it. That will start installing all the actual Plutonium files. Do keep in mind those are not the game files. It only installs like the Plutonium dedicated file. Once it's done, you're gonna be prompted to log in. So use your credentials. In order to register your account, uh, there should be a link here, there we go. Uh, you need to head to the form, form.plutonium.pw register. You can use that uh, hyperlink here. So once you create the account on the forum, use those credentials to log in. And once you've logged in, you should be prompted with the launcher. Then you go to the whichever game you want to use. In my case, it's gonna be T6 Zombies, which is Black Ops 2. You click Setup. So in my case, it opened uh, Black Ops 2 directory already, uh, the one from Steam. But in yours, it probably won't. So what you have to do is you go to that folder that you opened initially with the Black Ops 2 files on Steam or not from Steam, depends. Uh, well, whichever directory contains those files and you go, uh, you're not gonna see the files here, only the folders, but do not do not click any, just press select folder. And that button should change to play. And then you can just click play and play. Okay, now it's time for plutonium that you, you would use for playing on uh, on Harans and Firestorms, etc. Uh, it's version R2905. Uh, and basically, I have that directory on my OneDrive that I also share with people. And you will find a link for it in the description. It's gonna look something like this. Once you click the link, that's what you'll see. Uh, now we're going for this. So, press download. Okay, and as you can see, I've downloaded the file that I already had here. I'll show you how to install this alongside the new version of Plutonium, because it's very reasonable that you would have both of those. Uh, because some people prefer playing on the new one, and also the new one is... Uh, oh, it has more features that you could care about if you wanted to. Press Windows R and put percent local app data percent. That's gonna open you the directory... Uh, app data local and as you can see it already has plutonium folder and those are the files that we installed previously installing the new plutonium so here create under folder that's what i like to call it but it's it obviously can be anything but if you call it like that you're gonna always know what it is so now open the zip and copy everything to this new folder Okay, so now we're actually gonna use Steam to create a shortcut for that. And there is a very good reason for it. You can, in fact, create like a bad file, which is a Windows script that will launch Plutonium for you. But the problem is it won't work with most controllers. In order for this to work with a controller, you do need to use Steam. Because if you use Steam, even though it's not gonna be an actual Steam game, it's gonna use Steam sort of controller support 
to translate controller inputs into the game, so you can actually use controllers. If you are on mouse and keyboard, that's not necessary, you can use the bad file, however, because Steam shortcut just works for everyone, that's what I'm going to show. You can also do it if you don't actually own the game on Steam, because uh, in this case Steam won't care, it's just adding a shortcut. So you press add game, and add a non-Steam game. You press browse, it's gonna prompt you with a file browser. Now you can again use that shortcut, percent local data percent. And now you go to the folder we've created. You go to bin and you select bootstrapper. Not the launcher, bootstrapper, that's very important. Okay, now that's that you can see it, you press add selected programs. There it is. Now you go to properties. And now we have to make some changes here. So first of all, which is very important, remove this. That's what it has to look like. Then I would recommend changing its name. It's not mandatory, but I would recommend doing so. And we have to add some launch options. So first we put T6ZM, which is a shortcut for Black Ops to Zombies. Then we have to enter the path to the game files. So those are again the files that we opened uh, at the beginning of the video. So you can just copy this path, paste it here. Make sure to use double quotes. Because what's gonna happen is because this is usually gonna be directly called Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and it will have like spaces here. It will make it not work. So it's very important that you use double quotes. Add dash lan plus name and again in double quotes you put your name and this is gonna be the name that's going to display in the game so now we can close this and click play and if you do everything properly this should change to plutonium r2905 and it should start the game Okay, the third launcher I'm going to show is Ancient Plutonium. Here is a good place to make a warning. Uh, do not use Ancient Plutonium to play actual record games unless you know exactly what you're doing. Because it is actually not legit to just use it to play co-ops on. Uh, not going to go into details, but I'm just gonna leave that warning in. Uh, okay, that being said, let's move to the tutorial. You go again to that OneDrive page. You press, you go to R353 and you download that. Okay, that's downloaded. Now we actually have to go to that BO2 files we have and we have to copy the entire folder. Uh, you copy it anywhere you want. I'm just gonna create a new directory here. And make sure to copy all the files. Alright, now you open the zip and move all the files. Now, this is not necessary to start the game, however, I do recommend that because it's gonna make it easier to inject patches if you need those. Remove that, T6ZM, and change the name of T6RZM to T6ZM, so just remove R from this one. And this will actually make it possible to inject patches into, into Ancient, but it's not necessary to start the game. Now, you can start the game through this shortcut. Okay, now we go to install Redacted and there's actually two versions of Redacted. There's Redacted LAN and Redacted Nightly. Uh, we're gonna do LAN first, so download Redacted LAN. And the process is actually exactly the same. So we create another directory here. Redacted LAN, and we copy all BO2 files in. Open the RAR file, and copy all this into this directory. You could press replace, that's very important. And now you can use uh, use Redacted. In order to launch Redacted, you use this one.
I will also show you how to change your name on Redacted because some people don't know it. Uh, you need to open this configuration file. It should open in the notepad, but any text editor is good. And you just change this from revive me please to whatever. You save it, close it, and now that you open Redacted, your name is gonna be different. Okay, and the last launcher I wanted to show you is Redacted Nightly. Uh, Nightly is very good for playing solo games, because it's pretty stable, and you don't need to patch it at all. So in order to get Nightly, you download Nightly 0625. Once again, you create under directory. Copy all BO2 files. Open this zip, and copy all that. Replace. And in order to launch this one, you have to open Redacted Barebone. So this is slightly confusing. You actually need to select the exact directory that you're in. So I ch I select Redacted Nightly. Okay. And then you can change your name. Nightly is sort of a preview version, but it's it so happens that it's really good for souls, so people use it. Anyway, so we have to change that to Zombies and start. I'll leave under useful note. Uh, this doesn't have like the normal console, if you press tilde nothing happens. Uh, you actually have to put your inputs in this console. So if you want to fast restart you just put fast restart and enter. So that's... and also don't close this because if you close this the entire thing will close. So we open just offline mode and select whatever mode you want to play. Okay, that will be all in terms of installing the launchers. Hopefully uh, that was useful. Uh, thanks for watching and see ya.